What you want, baby, I got it. What you need, you know I've got it. Looking at the spy here. Kind of glad I took off that those 15 call credit spreads. Did it for a nice little profit because not that it's near my 413 mark yet, but it is trying to pressure. It's slowly working its way up, working its way up to here, babe. Is that the day high? I believe it is. It was at 41018. So guess what? Now I don't have to sweat it. Don't have to bite my nails. What's going on in the market? S&P's down 0.03%. So basically flat. Dow Jones up 0.2%. NASDAQ down 04 And the Russell 2000 up 0.71%. A couple more moves to make before it's time for me to eat because I'm getting hungry. I'm already fantasizing about what I'm going to eat first today. I like to do intermittent fasting, which means I haven't eaten since dinner yesterday evening, probably around, let me think, probably got done eating around 6 p.m. and it's now 11 a.m. So that's a lot of time in between meals. I'm going to have four whole eggs scrambled, mixed up with a lovely and luscious, delicious cup of basmati rice. Now, don't knock it. Do not knock it before you try it. And after a hard leg day with my granny weights that I was using at the YMCA, I need some protein, need some protein, need some healthy fats, and need some starchy carbs to refill those glycogen levels in the muscles so I could, you know, keep feeling like a million bucks. Because as I said on my birthday, I don't feel a day over 21 and I don't look a day over 75. So I got to keep that going. Let's look through what we have on the board here. We're leaving the call on Citigroup, leaving the call on Coterra Energy, leaving it up on the board on Coca-Cola and Bank of America. If they all get called away, pun intended, that's fine. We'll let them go. Leaving this 4750 put, uh, these three contracts on the board, uh, $26 calls, leaving it. 2550 calls, leave it. And we're looking next at deer and the antelope at 355 right there on the put. It is what? When did we put that on? We put that put on 4 6, and today is 4 11. So five days ago, we collected $355 bills. And it's going to cost us approximately $63 to close it. What about 62? Can we get 62 going once, going twice? Can we get 62 and release $35,500 in collateral? We will keep an eye on that. Probably have to go up a little bit, I guess, to get out of it. Do we just have one contract, right? Yep, just one contract and the math. So say we have to go with the 65, which is probably what we'll need to do. We'll get our Fantasyland math calculator out. And we are at 355 minus 65 equals this, $290 in net profit divided by the collateral of 35,500. That is this equation, and then we divide it by the number of days, which is five. Then we multiply it by the 365 to get the annualized return of, oh, hello, 59.6%. So who doesn't want that? So let's get right back into it, replace that order so we can clear up that collateral, put it back into the buying power, right? So let's try for the 60, you want to try for the 62, 63. Let's just go to the 63 and try to close this thing out right here. And right now, releasing that collateral on Deer, which we entered just five days ago. Tapping my fingers, anxiously awaiting. See, this number keeps changing on us, doesn't it? It keeps changing. Oh, there it is. And it's on the board. Let's do the math on the 63 bucks. So does that change? It's at 59.6. So let's keep an eye on that. 355 minus 63 equals net profit of 292. So that should change just a little. Divided by the collateral, 35,500 equals this. Divided by the number of days, 5 multiplied by 365. 60% return on collateral annualized. 
Calm down, Bart. It's annualized. It's not. <laughs> it's fantasy land math that maybe, just maybe, we can come close to because I like to see, if possible, on these trades over time, like real math, be at 20%. If we can do 20% on the options trades and then maybe be around, I don't know, 4 to 5% on our dividend yields average, plus collecting some dollar bills on the cash sitting in the settlement account, which is currently collecting 4.4%. Those things combined, we want to have 10,000 plus per month as our net net. So we got that going for us. We're done with the deer and the antelope, and we're going to move on and check out if there's what else is on the board? But first, let's take a look at our buying power. 2.107 goes to carry the one. 2.178. Okay. Getting getting kind of getting kind of hectic. <laughs> Remember that song? <laughs> I've got the power. If you know that song, comment in comment down below and just simply say I've got the power. And it's getting kind of hectic. Because if you know that song, well. You're probably pretty cool. Looking through, I was I was thinking about rolling this Devin call. Let's just see what's happening. Devin's up over 54. In fact, it's at 54.52. I was even going to roll it into the money just for some fun and excitement because I can let it go. If we go to Devin, I can let it go at the 53 and we're still in the money, right? Because we're, our average cost is 52.39. We've collected a bunch of premium over the last few months with Devon Energy because it's one of my sweethearts. So let's look to what would happen if we rolled these 11 call contracts. What would we have to do to make some dough, roll it up to 54 and roll it out? So we need to cover $2.23 debit basically per, right? So how far do we have to go out? The original contract expires next Friday, which is 421. If we look two weeks out from that, May 5th, is it possible to roll it to the 54 and make money? Yeah, but not enough. So let's go out another week. Okay, so that's three weeks out, which is an equation of 21 days, right? So... <laughs> We could collect $825 today and an additional dollar per share. And it's this, you know, these 11 contracts represent 1,100 shares. So that would be 1,100 additional dollar bills in our pocket plus the 836. So let's see what the bid and ask. Oh, it's pretty widespread, isn't it? Pretty widespread. Not sure if that'll fill. Let's just dial it down. No, nope, let's dial it down 74. 73, 73 do it. I bet 73 could do it. What do you think? Let's just see. It says low likelihood to fill. It's between 65 and 87. 73 would put $803 into our pocket for making this roll, covered call roll. We've got zero filled at this moment, but let's just take a look at Devon to see what it's doing at the very moment. Devon Energy up to it's up a dollar eight, two percent to fifty four forty seven. Going to the chart. Let's look at that chart and see what it's doing. What are you doing, Devon? Remember, keep stay um, patient with me on my farm field internet. Okay, so we were up, oh, almost a, we were at 54.80. Now it's dropped down. So that's why we haven't filled or didn't fill right away at that number. Part of the reason I wanted to roll it right here and right now. So it should still show pending. So let's go back to the main board. The Devon is still showing pending right there. Go back here, just take another peek. Let's let it let's let it go back up just a little bit before we make any adjustment to that trade. Keep looking through our positions. 
I was also looking at the T row price, even though it's only at 55%, it is $201 into the profit. Okay, so if we tried to buy it back, we collected 360 and it, it will cost us approximately $159 to close those three contracts. So what is that? Let's just try to get it closed out. 159 at the 53 cents per close out those three contracts releasing the hounds of $31,200. We need to update this. Let's just go to the 55 or can we get the 50? I don't know. I just want to get it closed. Don't you? Yeah, let's get it closed bar. Then we'll do some math. It's still going to be decent. Close those at 55 per, it should close right away. And there it is. So it cost us $165 against our 360, all right? So we collected 360 one week ago. So seven days ago, we collected $360. We just bought those back for 165 for a net profit of $195 against our $31,200 in collateral divided by the number of days, which is seven multiplied by an annualized fantasy land math, 32.5%. Hey, that's well above 20, right, Bart? Yep, that's well above 20. And we just released those hounds on that collateral, which means we have added some more dollar bills to buying power, which we like to watch it in real time, don't we? Let's look at it closely as it goes up above 2.2. 2.24 million on the buying power. The Devon covered roll. I see you. I see you, Devon. Tried to go green. Go on up. Get on up. Uh, yeah, here we go. Get it on up there. 54.45. Look through some more just to make sure. What else we got? We've got the Tyson puts that are at 94. 8%, so there's not much left on the bone. No pun intended on the chicken company. Oh, yeah, but see, this is because there's just not a lot of interest. That bid and ask is between 0 and $10. What would they try to debit us if we rolled it? It's saying a, just a penny. Do we believe it? Do we believe it? So currently... Tyson's at 62.27, all right? And that put is at 55. If we rolled it for, just rolled it even at 55. So that's May 19th, because these are uh, these are one month trades, these, or these trade monthly, not weekly. So that's the difference in the days. No biggie, no biggie smalls on that. $44 credit on the Tyson. Hmm. I'm not sure I'm interested. <laughs> I'd love to close it for a dollar, but I don't know if I'm interested in doing anything on it right now. So let's go back to the Devon covered call. Click back here just to see, is it still going up or is it doing nothing? It's going down again, downtown to Chinatown. What would it have to do if we replace this order? Okay, so back to the drawing board. From April 21st, we've got 11 calls. We want to buy back and then sell out and make some dollar bills. We just want to go to this 54. So no biggie. No big deal on that. We're not going to be able to get that credit. So what kind of credit can we get? That still is exciting. $792 is still exciting to me. Plus we're adding a dollar, which is $1,100. Can it fill right now? That is the question. Just when you think you have all the answers, I changed the questions. That was from the original, what was it called? WrestleMania. WrestleMania 1. The hype videos before WrestleMania 1. That was from Rowdy Roddy Piper. If you know any of those references, well, yep. You're pretty cool. I went to WrestleMania 1, not actually live, but a live 
pay-per-view broadcast at the Holiday Star Plaza in Maryville, Indiana. No, that would be the Holiday Star Theater, I apologize, which is no longer there. I've seen many, many, many things there. Many concerts, including that WrestleMania 1 live with my buddy Mark Replin. I think my buddy Steve Kozak went with us as well. I think I was 6th or 7th grade. Whatever the case, we just made some moves. We're up to 2.242 in our buying power. We just added a bunch of dollar bills from the Devon trade. I'm fairly hungry, so I'm going to make myself some food. You know what? I'm probably going to close this also. Hmm. We got some things we may want to close, some additional things. So I may come back, check on this. What are these Mo puts doing? Not much. How about these Amazons? Why have it, why is that showing zero? Probably because it's way out to May 5th. Costco, probably work on that one too. It's at 53% profit, and that's a $46,500 collateral position. So we'll come back. I'll check back with you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.